Hi, this is James Scott, Born in the Bayou. This episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing of Cloudspire, the update pack. This is for those that got the Cloudspire when it first came out. Uh, there are, I guess, a lot of changes they made, made it improvements and clarifications. So they, they did an update pack. Uh, they, they're keeping it right at the price point from what I've, I've seen. So let's go ahead and see what we got in here. <clears throat> All right, so we got a stack of uh, relic cards. And that's a good amount of the relic cards. So I think they pretty much uh, look like they pretty much redid the other relics. It's out of the uh, same plastic. Oh, oh, there's events in here too. Relics and events. Let's see. Got a little plastic on here. So that's another stack of relic and event cards. Well, it looks like between all of them, they, that's a lot of the cards. That's pretty, I think that's pretty probably pretty much most of the cards. All right. By looking at the color size, it looks like uh, every faction got their chips updated. Let's go ahead and look at some of these chips. So yeah, they uh, don't have the other ones quite handy, but apparently looks like, uh, go ahead and show you, Looks like they almost got. That's that's almost their whole army. Yeah, a few more scenario. Or the, let's see here. Elvin Kazi, I love these little birds. It's so fun. Everybody always hates it when I play it. Play it. They get a little changed. It's fine precision. So, looks like every faction got at least, uh, I'd say, five or six. Uh, yeah, it looks like everyone got about five or six done, except for the trees. And, oh. Of course, these guys had to get down. I hope they got here. <laughs> I always hate playing against these guys. Uh, and another one that looked like they got majority of their army redone. So go ahead and set these aside. I'll pull, I'll pull one of these aside and there's off to kind of. All right. 
phone. List everything that, that changed in here. So, come with a new rule book, new rule reference, two scenario books, five reference sheets, 29 event cards, 15 relic cards, three mark chips, four landmark chips, six brawling chips, 12 grow tender chips, five air chips, and 11 Nora chips. So, if you're curious on what I had been, uh, done and the grid uh grid got changed portal seekers content got changed uh and they give instructions on how to update and how to tell the difference between the two okay so now we have a rules reference So it must be uh, FAQs and a bit like Fantasy Flight does have that have one uh, reference book and constantly go back. The Greed, their book, their scenario book. Don't think I have theirs handy. The rule book got changed. Ah, down here it says a little version two. And I can immediately see the difference in the rules. These are, uh, These are really great. Explaining each of the, like the Grove Tenders and the Rowan. Oh, this is fantastic. Much, much better rule book. Yeah, that is. Uh, I'm loving that. All right, let's see. Sheets that get changed. This guy over. So the backs are. Let's see, I think I got the read right here. Um, of course, when I go to look for it. So here's the original. This is the new second edition. So they got the whole thing of the tunneling system. They got the a lot better. Looks a lot more clear on these, easier to understand. And the back, this is definitely a huge improvement. I love the fact that they have showing each one all the, the little information about it that is so much nicer than just this this chart which is every time everybody every time i try to teach it somebody new it analysis prowl as soon as they see this all this writing but this is definitely uh i definitely like how that is so i change them and <sighs> And here are the sheets for all the rest of them, or the basic set. So brawling, grow tenders, airs, and, and what's this? Oh, now they got a uh, landmark and market talent reference sheet. That's really nice. Yeah, they did, but Grove Tenders. I 
They are slick. They have... That is that is so nice. I definitely have to say that is a huge improvement. I don't know why I put those back in there. All right. And then uh, the Cloud Aspire Solar Scenario book. Redid this again. They did in the new rule style or the the new rule book style. As opposed to I don't think they had Yeah, before it was just the you know, same page on there. They would just have the old one had that just reference where this one will actually walks you through step by step. That is really nice. I'll chapter it all the way up. Two pages. Wow, and it's a lot more with all this added stuff to it. It's now 102 pages. It's Old one was 82. And then the cooperative scenarios. Wow, that is a that is a lot of content for that that price point. I think it was uh, ten dollars if you got on a Kickstarter, and fifteen if you get on their site. But it's pretty much uh, <laughs> that's gonna probably be a, a thirty or chips, and all, all you know, most of your books are uh, all reprinted here. So as is definitely that's a fantastic deal. So this is James Scott, Born in the Bayou. Remember to comment, like, subscribe below. Thank you.